I don't know. I haven't seen Red Tails as of yet. But, um, Me neither. So don't worry about it. You know, I, I don't... I, I just don't see the, why we so interested in this movie. You know, I, I don't see why we so uh, wrapped up in the fact that George Lucas is going to make triple, quadruple, five times what he put into this movie. Because I... You know, black people are going to run out in droves to see this movie. You know, I, I saw an uh, um, interview with, um, uh, what's his name? What's the guy's name? The, the, the actor. I can't remember his name right now. You know, the one with the light eyes. What's his name? Oh, um, um, uh, the dude that talked like this, man. Uh, what is his yeah. name? <laughs> He got nominated uh, for an uh, Academy Award for... Um, right. Uh, well, what is that guy? Terrence Howard. Terrence, Terrence Howard. Howard, right. Yeah. I saw an interview with him and Tavis Smiley, and um, he he just went in on this, oh, black people are going to see this movie. Um, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be hurt. You know, um, and, and it's funny because... The people that George Lucas ended up going to to get this this movie produced or whatever, or to get this movie to come to fruition, had Tyler Perry or Oprah tried to make that movie themselves. I don't care how much money they put to back it; it would have never happened. They would didn't want him to do it. So could you imagine if Oprah and Tyler Perry had gotten together again and attempted to make this movie without George Lucas? It would have never cool. happened. You know, so, I mean, we got to look at it from, I mean, there's so many different ways you can look at the situation and, you know, scratch your head and say, hmm, you know, what's really going on here? And like I said, I'm going to say it again, they only doing all of this to distract us from the real issues, from all the other things that's going on. You know, this is a distraction for us. You know, black people like entertainment. Let's get them a nice, you know, nostalgic movie about, you know, their forefathers and and, and the people who came, you know, before them and they paved the way for all the young, you know, men and women to be in the armed forces. And, you know, but the Tuskegee Airmen... I I mean, I I don't understand how people are not, like, pissed off that they're making movies about this, but they're not making movies about the fact that they infested infested all of those men, infected them, infested them with with syphilis, you know? I mean, all this is happening at the same time. Is that in the movie? Did did, did they put that in the movie? You know what I mean? I mean, we got a real, if you're going to make a movie about, something that happened and, and try and turn it into a black issue. I mean, let's make movies about the real black issues, you know? Yeah. Okay, that they yeah, eventually true. were able to to fly their planes and all these other things. And, you know, they are, uh, uh, I have family members who are in the military. And I have family members who, are, I mean, I love them. But I look at them and I'm like, what the heck are you doing? What are you doing here? Right. You know, so I have some personal issues with it. I have some political issues with it. I have some social issues with it. You know, anything that you could think, I have just a bunch of issues with this particular movie. And like I said, it's deflecting our attention from the real issues that are going on. You know, it's it's something to put a Band-Aid, you know, some solve, some, some, you know, entertainment, shucking and jiving, to make sure that we're not paying attention to the real things that's going on. So as far as I'm concerned, that movie don't exist. I'm not going to be blinded by it. You know, I'm not impressed by it. I'm not happy that they made the movie. It just doesn't matter to me at this point. You know, I mean, how many years ago was that, and now they're getting the movie? Please, give me a break. You know, I mean, so what? I'm my thing is, I, I mean, I mean, if you think about the real story, if I'm not mistaken, these men were just deflections to make sure that the white man got home. Right. That was what. Well, that's how I how I got the story. You know, 
y'all, the red tails go behind the real fighters, and you, you know, I mean, he said it. Our mission is to make sure that as many men get home to their wives and children as possible. He should have said as many white men, because there's nobody covering their backs. And the funny thing about it, after all the work that they did, they weren't even allowed to eat in the same mess hall. As, no, as and when they got home, they talked about the fact that when they got home, you know, these men were ushered into this big ceremony. They had a parade. They black asses were sent on a bus and sent home. You couldn't even participate, and you saved them crackers. Are you serious? <laughs> and you're proud of it, dumbass Negro? I mean, come on. What are we do? What are we saying here? What are we saying here? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not impressed by the movie at all. George Lucas, he did. He did this. So he could continue to keep smacking that stupid black woman's butt. Okay? <laughs> Let's be real about it. When was when has he ever thought about making a black movie? Well, now that he's having when he sister, does, doing that movie, like I told everybody, like my, my, my whole thing, I think the only reason why George did this film is because he's because I know he's a fan of aerial combat and that was the only reason that he even stomached the idea of even putting this film out. And, you know, because he wanted I mean, to he, make he tapped, those airplanes he tapped the system. He tapping that uh-huh. system. So he said, you know, oh, I yeah, he's two doing two that birds too. with one stone. If that's the case, he's he killing two that. birds with one stone, you know. He had to make her feel good. You know, he had exactly. to make her feel good. So he did I, that. You know, yeah. I, I'm not just with you because you got a big booty. That's not why I'm with you. <laughs> I care about your issues. You know, I care that, well, he, you know. If he cared about the ventures, he should have said the TV experiment, the TV experiment movie. Exactly. Okay, yes. If, he, if you that's really what care, I mean. do, do the goddamn, do, uh, help me get finance this uh, Nat Turner movie I want to do. <laughs> no, 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 no. Finance a real slave movie. Finance a movie where you showing exactly what your forefathers did to my forefathers. Impress me. No doubt. Impress me. Show it. Lynching, <laughs> whipping, you know, cutting babies out the mother's womb and hanging them from a tree. and Make me happy. Make me feed, happy. Feed Show it, me the... You put, baby, put, put your baby hundred... Put your hundred... Put your alligators and sharks. Exactly. And, exactly. And like put a hundred yeah, million yeah. behind that. Yeah. Put, put, put some right. money behind don't worry, that. Don't worry, I'm gonna put the script together and I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna submit. And then and then put, the put, put submit it to her first. Submit it to her first. When you don't get no response, then submit it to him. Cause she gonna no, run I'm from it. <laughs> nah, she, cause she gonna run from it. Cause ain't no <laughs> self-respecting black woman that care about black issues gonna be with no white man. I'm just saying, and whoever don't like it is the top. There's no yeah, I, there's exactly. no way that you care about. Black people and you laying down with a white man, none, none whatsoever. You they don't love yourself. Love. You hate yourself. They say it's all love, Salima. It's all love. Love, love, don't, love don't have no color. <laughs> you can't control who you fall in love with. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like. Oh my love. goodness! Yeah. yeah, right. Okay, you're <laughs> right. I can't get past they smell, let alone they color. To me, what? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, that's- FCC gonna come shut me down. I know we gonna get in trouble. Let me stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. <laughs>